girl, you gotta brush them things out. You gotta look like Shirley Temple. It was the wrong decision. There's this, um, What's up guys? So I'm back with another video and I'm so excited because I haven't had this feeling in a while where I feel just so excited and ready to do more. Um, I think my last YouTube video, I was really happy with um, so many of you reaching out saying, thank you, we loved it, don't worry about your insecurities, everybody has insecurities, I get it, but you know that was really what was holding me back and now I am going through the lists and I'm checking things off and I think I'll get like the more boring videos videos out of the way first like um, my hair tutorial I don't know maybe it's not boring for some people so I hope it's not boring for you that if you're watching um, this has been very requested highly requested and I'm gonna finally do it I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do it and I hope it turns out good that would be really embarrassing if I film a video and my hair doesn't actually turn out cute so um, this is how I style my new relatively new lob. It's a little bit shorter in the back. My hair actually grew a lot since I cut it. It was like last month when I cut it, but I'm taking those Sugar Bear hair vitamins. This is not sponsored, never has been sponsored. I've never received those for free. I've always purchased them. I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. I've talked a lot about them and I highly recommend them. I mean, I'm sure there are certain products that don't work for everyone, but this has worked for me. My hair was you know when you want to get your hair cut and then you get it cut and you're like, oh no, it was the wrong decision. Well, that's always how I feel when I get my hair cut and then I'm like, oh, I actually like it. I'm happy. So I got it cut. It was really short. I was like freaking out because I didn't know how to style it anymore. I was like, I don't know. I've had long hair for quite some time now, which is crazy because it took me forever to finally grow my hair out. Like I was always stuck in that awkward like length right here where it wouldn't grow through and then finally now when I cut my hair and I look back at my pictures I'm like Shh, my hair was actually pretty long um, so I'm trying to grow it back out again but I'm not mad at it in the meantime and um, this is how I curl my lob how I style my lob I have fine thin hair so first of all I want to show you the products that I have been using and really really like to give me volume and texture because my hair doesn't curl if I don't have a little bit of a texture in it and it doesn't it doesn't curl if it's not like a little bit dirty I think everybody can agree that your hair curls best when it's dirty I don't know why um, so I just blew out my hair that's why I look like I have a butt on the top of my head head and it's kind of poofy um, but I just blew it out and I didn't straighten it or or use anything to kind of tame any kind of frizz so these products I've been using I really really like first I'm gonna show you the now I love Aveda products I um, ever since I was going to the Art Institute and they would come in and do our makeup for photo shoots or, or whatever it was. I was always intrigued by Aveda and that kind of like sparked my interest. And um, that's when I like started looking into the brand and liking their um, products. So I received a PR package. Um, thank you, Aveda. I really appreciate all of these products because I fell in love with them and I will purchase them uh, when I run out. So this is the, I don't know how to say it, it's Fomolient. Um, Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And it is a styling foam. It adds shine and weightless volume to fine or medium hair. So even if you don't have fine hair, I think this will work for you because it's too medium hair. So this is number one that I use. And then I go and I spritz in the thickening tonic from Aveda. I really like this product also because any other thickening spray that I've used, it has really weighed down my hair and that when I blow it out, it looks really greasy and I can't put my fingers through it and it just feels nasty. Um, so this is the first one that I've used and I really liked it and my hair, as you can tell, it's like really soft and it's still wispy and um, nice. So this is the thickening tonic and it instantly thickens for a fuller style. I spray this throughout from my root all the way out and then I use um, this flat paddle brush. It's by Agave Healing Oil. I really like this brush. It's, I won't show you how much hair is in it. Ooh. Um, and then 
The third product I use when my hair is wet is the Aveda Smooth Infusion. Um, let's see if I can... I'm getting better at this, I think. I hope that... I can't tell if it, if it focused. This is a style prep smoother. Defends against humidity for up to 12 hours. I live in South Florida where it is humid every day. Every day. So this actually works. I can attest to the fact that this works because I live in a very humid, hot climate and for 12 hours or more, I think it actually works longer than 12 hours. I don't know if they can say that maybe on the bottle because they don't want to like have people return it and say, oh, it, it didn't work for 13 hours. Um, but if I blow out my hair and I use these three products, my hair will stay smooth, not frizzy, full and thick, and it ho actually holds my curls for a, a longer period of time for at least a week. I try to go as long as I can without washing my hair, especially while I'm trying to grow it out. So anyways, those are the first starting products. I love them, I like them a lot. Now what I use as far as I, I'll go ahead and turn it on and get it heated up, is the Noom, Noomi, I don't know how to pronounce it, curling wand. Now I ordered the pack should have probably brought it up here to show you guys. That probably would have been cool. Um, <laughs> let me go get it. This is the Titan 3, and I think this is the Lustrum wand. It's not the regular silver. I used to have that one where it was a silver barrel, and I loved it a lot. It just randomly stopped working for me one day. So that's when I got the PR package from T3, and I tried the Trio set, the, their, their curling wands, and I... I liked it at first, but over time I realized that my hair wasn't curling anymore and I thought there was something wrong with me. It wasn't holding curl. It So I said, what was I using? And I remembered that I had that new me wand. I had the Titan 3 in the silver barrels. Um, it wasn't the Lustrum. And I really loved it a lot. And I went back and I saw this on sale. So I ordered that and I'm so impressed. I'm very happy that I have this wand back again. And it comes with um, obviously the gloves that you'll need and it comes with a bunch of different barrels. This is the really big one, the biggest one they offer. Don't ask me about sizes of barrels because I, I'm i not good at that. I don't know. I, I You can't even ask me how long three inches is. Chris is like, move that three inches. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not good at that. So. Um, that's one of the wands. Let's see. There's this really thin one. There's this, um, this one. <laughs> like a little creepy. Um, and then this one where they say it's great for waves because it, um, it goes from big to uh, thin. So then, you know, your wave gets big. Oh. I don't know. Whatever. Shirley Temple and what's intriguing to me because it's always been like oh I don't remember a time when I didn't know to brush out my curls that's what I'm trying to say I'm not trying to make anyone feel stupid that's not what I'm trying to say right now but I don't remember a time when I didn't do that so it feels like common sense to me when really like I'm not that brilliant 
<laughs> uh, so the trick to waves that I've seen a lot of people say, oh my God, that's the trick. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. I'm like, yeah, girl, you got to brush them things out. You're not trying to look like Shirley Temple up in this. Um, it's going to look like this, but wait a little bit until your hair curl, until your hair cools. Spray. You'll see. Just a minute. I shake my hair like this I don't know I'm weird and I keep doing it <laughs> it's like I realize how weird I am and then I just continue continue on anyways okay so let's see if that looks good and I like to flip my head over and spray the Orbe see if it'll focus get it girl get it girl focus for me oh there we go Orbe Apre Beach this is a wave and shine spray. I hated it at first. I will be totally honest. I hated it. I was like, um, this does nothing but make my hair look greasy. Um, but it was actually another product I was using in conjunction with this. So, not bad, wear bay. Anyways, I love this. It makes your hair actually um, gives you a lot of volume too. As well as the, I will also be using the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I also love this a lot for texture and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and do a flip. Ah! Ooh. Ooh, big sexy. Okay, don't worry, it'll go down. This is how you get the volume. Work with me here, work with me here. My favorite tried and true hairspray, my grandmother turned me on to this. Shout out to Jammer. Um, Kenra Volume Hairspray. Let's see, oh, we got it, there we go. This is, I purchased this at Ulta. It is the 25. I believe there are other numbers. So I use the Super Hold Finishing Spray, and this is Volume Spray. So, girl, give me all the volume. Look at my giraffe neck. Stop. Playing with me right now. Okay. This is where we brush out. Okay? You with me still? Start out by brushing only underneath. So the Acre Beach will make it really um, PC if you want your waves PC and just like, you know, like a wave. Okay, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. This turned out pretty good <laughs> while I was making this because I was very nervous that I would screw up and it wouldn't look cute and people were like, girl, why are you giving a video? <laughs> um... So I'm feeling very Farrah Fawcett or that 70s show right now. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. Okay, if you're feeling bad and bougie, go ahead and get the Way Wave Spray. I mean, it's not really that bad and bougie. It's $26 and it's a pretty big um, container. And it smells really great and I love it because I have fine thin hair and I, like I said earlier, I will find a product that just weighs my hair down and it just doesn't work for me. But if you are more on a budget, go to the drugstore. I think Ulta will probably have this. It's by Matrix and it is the Rough Me Up Mineral Wave Spray, Salt Infused Spray. I used this for an entire year and it's still like really full. I love it. Um, it's part of the Style Link line, I suppose, because it says it right here. Um, I love it. I love it a lot. It's a really great purchase. I don't know how much it is. It's got, it's definitely under $20, like, definitely. If it isn't, go ahead and hate me, because I would hate myself too. Um, but this is 26 and I love it a lot, and that's what I'm going to use today, because I did just pick it up, and, you know, when you get a new product, you're like, oh, give it to me. Okay. I'm just going to, like, go in everywhere. 
It smells so good. It's kind of like a beach perfume. That's what it is. It's like a beach perfume that you're spraying in your hair. It, it literally, I mean, it just smells heavenly. I always pull. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. I always pull my hair just down a little. Okay, girl. I am not mad at this. Are you? Are you mad at this? Do we like it? I hope that you do. <laughs> because I do get a lot of questions on how I curl my hair. So that's how I do it. I hope you like it. And um, leave me a comment below if you've got any requests for videos. I'm really like, I'm stoked for to make YouTube videos right now. Like I am all about it. So give me a request or just write me something sweet. I love hearing from you guys. I always write back and um, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you guys later. Love you guys.